Next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory's uh, Big Bang Theory RL's uh, BTS vlog. Yeah, let me get time and date stamp right off the bat. It is six hours and thirty six minutes into the day of Monday, April fourth, uh, two thousand sixteen. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I can't remember what time it was when I started vlogging. But anyways, it's uh, just about 6.30. One thing I forgot to tell you is that uh, we're getting a new camera. Yeah, I realized that I really do need a backup camera. And the thing is, is that this camera that I'm using now is going to become the backup. I got another uh, Sony, just like this one, uh, a model higher. So the new one is going to become the main camera. This is going to be the backup. And we'll see what type of fun we have. And I got, I got it at a, at a good deal. Uh... It should come sometime this week. I'm expecting it sometime this week. Uh, I, sh I should have, uh, by this afternoon, I should have a bit of an idea when it's going to come. They should send me an email letting me know, yeah, sort of giving me an update as to uh, when to expect it. Uh, so, uh, But usually, uh, when I order from this company, it usually takes them between three and four days to get the product to me. So, if I did, this, they say Monday... Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, so Thursday, Friday, the latest, I should have uh, the new camera, and that means we'd be vlogging with a new camera rather than the, the uh, this one here, so <laughs> we'll see how this goes, uh, there's a lot of things to sort of work around, uh, but uh, <laughs> that's kind of the way things go, you know, uh, I mean, for a minute there, I thought that was it for vlogging, because if the, the camera fell over and uh, <laughs> it wasn't working properly. And, but slowly, surely it came back. It's functioning properly again. And so now on to uh, uh, the uh, next thing. And that's sort of uh, to prevent this type of situation from being uh, a catastrophe where you can't vlog again. Uh, I got a new camera. So and I got it for about $120. This is, this is the way I do things. It's in the ballpark. It's not brand new. It's used. But this company is reputable. Uh... I've ordered from them before, I've ordered used for them before, so uh, it should be good. Uh, anyways, uh, let me show you what's been going on. Uh, if you configure your phone properly, I mean, this, is, this is basically a tablet as well, it's a small tablet, it's a six inch tablet. Uh, if you configure it properly, what can happen is you can use this like a laptop. And that's the situation that I was in. Is that that was part of my portable office, and this gives you, it's, it's it's connected to a mobile service, and so I've got uh, I've got now a hotspot on it, and so I can connect other devices to it. I then moved over to uh, and added this tablet. Let me just get this tablet up here. I then ordered this tablet, which was an HP. It's a 10 inch. But the problem is it's got, uh, it's, it has, um, it's got uh, Android, uh, it's got Android uh, 4.4 on here. And one of the big problems with Android 4.4 is it doesn't allow you to uh, use the SD card to write to. So it's, its functionality is kind of crippled. So it's good for reading, it's good for a number of other different things, but uh, to really use it properly as a, as, as a laptop, to, you know, to be a laptop replacement, it's not quite there, but it is going to handle 
uh, it's going to handle the Kauai Tea House. This whole thing is going to handle the Kauai Tea House aspect of things. So uh, that's a, a sort of a segmented and, and moved some of the functionality off of one uh, off of one device onto there. That had that had everything. That had the research. It had everything on it. So now this is going to have the uh, this is going to house the uh, the uh, tea house. Uh, all sort of the, the the geek side of the things, the uh, our, the fun part of being a geek is uh, on here, uh, and that's going to be maintained on here. And this is some of the new shows that I'm working on. Uh, the notes will be here, and then because as I said I do things very cheaply, I took a look and I found a uh, laptop, another another tablet that was advertised that it had quad core, sixteen gig. Uh, internal and allowed you to actually write to the SD card because it was now 5.1 Lollipop. But I wasn't really too sure about the brand. It's called uh, Digiland. But I went on uh, YouTube. That's what I usually do. If I want to see if something's functional, I go on YouTube and say, oh, hey, this is pretty good. And, and once you see it's pretty good on YouTube, uh, then you go on in, in uh you order it, and that's what I did. I went and I ordered it. This is it here. This is the Digiland tablet. Tablet. It's a ten-inch tablet again. Uh, different from the other one. It's it's slightly. You see how it's the width is it's same length, but the width is kind of kind of uh, uh, squeezed in a little bit. But it's not bad. It's functional, and you can write to the SD card. So you have a number of options in here. Now this one is going to handle a lot of uh, the. It's going to handle this one here is going to handle the the, the space program. Uh, it's going to handle uh, the Astronomy and Physics uh, uh, Institute. It's going to handle the uh, uh, called AP Space Channel. All that type of stuff is going to be here. All the, the the astronomy and physics is going to be on this tablet here, and the mathematics is going to be on here. So I've got this set up. So that I can do a lot of the mathematics, I can do a lot of the physics, I can do a lot of the uh, the, the the heavier science stuff in there. And because this is a, has a GPS to it, uh, that the other one does, the uh, the HP does not have GPS on it. Uh, I can use this for mapping when I go out different places. And that will sort of be an interesting function to see as I go out uh, uh, to uh, various different areas. Uh, I can go out and sort of see, okay, this is how this works here, this is how that works. In other words, uh, I can sort of uh, map my own tracks, I can map my own uh, hikes. Uh, I do go up to the North, Wood, North Woods in, in Ontario to do some research. This is where I, I do Mars Alpha, and I spend about three weeks up there, and I really do need a mapping uh, system. I had one on an old, old uh, tablet, the, an Acer. But it got too slow and too old, so uh, I decided to use this one here, uh, which now has a GPS. I can use, I can now use the GPS to replace the uh, uh, on here on the on, on the tennis channel to replace the old uh, Acer. So, and his his pictures come out pretty good. The movies do pretty well, so I can add um, I can add uh, a, a, an Instagram and a Twitter on here as well. So I can add the or in and a flipogram, so I can do uh, a number of. Uh, 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 picture editing with it, so it is. It's 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 it gives me a whole new expansion to the office. So I've got the two systems here. There is the twenty uh, second episode of uh, Big Bang Theory L is now being rendered. Uh, right now, the the main system is is is, is sta standing still. It's not really doing much of anything right now. Uh, I'm watching IPTV. I thought about do another half hour of IPTV to sort of finish thing. Uh, Finishing, finishing off, off watching uh, our family nest as uh, as the uh, as my uh, IPTV choice right now for today, uh, and then I'll go rest for a bit, and then get up and I'll probably go food shopping around eleven, twelve o'clock, around you know between eleven and noon. So as I said, I got to split. The, I got to split the load up right now. The load is getting too heavy, so the way to split it up is is to do it this way. So uh, I'll do one today, and then m maybe one on Friday. We'll see. We'll see how things will get. give me a five-day span between the, the walks. So. Oh, I'm going to leave this here for now. I'm going to turn the tablet off. <laughs> then... Uh, I 
I keep the bags. They come with the uh, the anti-static bags as a protector, so I don't want to have to buy a protector screen. You just pull the bag out, pull it out of the bag, uh, use it, and then when you're done using it, put it back into the bag again, and that keeps the screen uh, nice and clean. So, anyways, uh, I will see you in the next segment of the Big Bang Theory URL, the BTS vlog. So, yeah, take it easy. Yeah, it's, uh, hello everybody, it's 12 hours, 25 minutes into the day of Tuesday, April 5th, 2016, and I'm here getting ready to go food shopping again, and I missed a day of vlogging, <laughs> well, well, basically we're work day of vlogging, so, if you look, if you look at the video, if the video, you realize that there's a, there's a whole, there's about 10 hours, 12 hours missing, that's about a day. Uh, I got up yesterday uh, around 7, 7.30 in the evening. I wasn't planning to uh, get up. I was planning to take a vacation, a sleep vacation, and stay sleeping. But that didn't happen. I got up to check something. Yeah, got up to check something. And as it progressed... Uh, I didn't end up getting back to bed till about uh, uh, six, six, seven o'clock in the morning on uh, today. So I'm just now getting up. Uh, let's see, it's twelve o'clock now. I went to bed at seven o'clock, uh, so it's about five hours worth of sleep. So it does. It, 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 I am always seem to be in this sort of uh, sleep deprivation mode. This is kind of a constant for me. So. <laughs> expect the unusual because this is the way my life is going so um anyways I do have to get out to do food shopping uh, the reason for that is uh, I need to get some bread and the bread that I like uh, in it's at the Asian store the Chinese store um, No, notice, this is, let me just do this here. Notice the hook, yeah, yeah, the hook is working. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, the Asian stores uh, have bread. They have uh, a bakery and full restaurant inside of the, uh, the, the supermarket. In addition to the aquarium they usually have, where you can get live uh, fish and, you know, very, very fresh. It's not frozen or anything like that. Everything's fresh there. Um, and still living <laughs> on the aquatic side of things. But they also have uh, fresh bread, and usually the way they do the work is, is that they only put a certain amount out, so nothing ever is old. And if you go by, but usually by 7 o'clock in the evening, they're open till about till 1 o'clock in the morning. So even if I go late, I can go late. But uh, if you want bread, by seven o'clock in the uh, after in the evening, um, the bread's gone. They've sold out of it. So the best time to go is now. So that's what I'm going to do. And uh, because I'm going to go for the bread, I'm also going to get the milk. A part the part of the milk that I need. I'm not going to get all the milk, but enough that I need. And that should hold me over until Friday, basically. And I checked with uh, my email. The uh, camera, the new camera has shipped. And it should be arriving either tomorrow, that's Wednesday, or Thursday. So things are going. Uh, I would say, I was gonna say moderately well, but for me they're going very well. So the progress is happening. Uh, I think we're on our twenty, the twenty fifth episode of Big Bang Theory RL it is now being rendered, and uh, we're getting more up. We're getting more with more of the uh, more of the vlogs up. So. 
Oh. Let's see how we get this done here. Now I have to put the ice pack in. So this should be uh, the, the time. The time reference should be all right. I'm talking about time reference. I'm talking about uh, once the ice pack is in, you only have a certain amount of time before uh, to go to go and get your milk and back for the perishables before you start running into problems with uh, thawing and uh, temperature issues. So. Uh, Almost forgot. Hat and gloves. It had warmed up sufficiently that I didn't need these. But it's no longer it's no longer that as everybody as even uh, Shay the Shay Tards uh, has mentioned. It's April out and it's snowing. <laughs> So we uh, we've got this bit of cold weather weather back again, so that means uh, hats hat and glove, and gloves, or should say, right? Hat and glove with one hand, but both hands gloves. And uh, we're off. Just gonna get the bag back on. Ugh. Adjust the straps. You always feel the weight when you put it on, and the thing is, because my body hasn't properly recuperated from the last walk, it's not fully recuperated. I still feel the uh, uh, some of the uh, physical pain. Uh, not much physical pain, but enough that you notice it uh, when you put the backpack on. And of course, this is a rather large backpack. And of course, when people have seen this, they've commented, that's not a backpack, that's a suitcase. Yeah, but it's got backpack straps. So, when I come back, see you then. <sighs> well, I'm back. Obviously. Uh, I remember I said that, you know, I'm doing this to lighten my load, you know, to not have as much on my back. Guess what happened? Yeah, there's not uh, less on my back. There's more. Uh, the items, uh, same thing. Left side first. Uh, this is over the chair. Oh, on the right side. Oh, the back pack is not as full as it, as it was. There is less in the backpack. But the total weight, the net weight, is more. So, the fatigue from the walk, the soreness, let me fix this up here. The soreness should be Either the same or worse. <laughs> and that's the way things go. Uh, my peripatetic walk was really nice. The peripatetics was nice. The, the walking and thinking was very nice. Uh, a large chunk of it was thinking about the show I'm going to put, put together called Meditations, which uh, introduces uh, uh, Eastern Christianity, Eastern uh, understanding of Christianity, uh, through uh, meditation. Because Eastern Christians do have meditation, it is in some ways slightly different from Eastern meditation, the Asian meditation, but in some ways as well. 
it's very different. For example, if you study Buddhism, uh, and that means you're basically a Western person, you're studying Buddhism. It's an intellectual exercise, basically. And there's very little in terms of your meditation. Medita your meditation is fundamentally superficial. Uh, it's not what the Asians would consider to be, you know, meditation. The Asians consider meditation to be a physically strenuous exercise, something that you push your boundaries. And in doing so, the so-called mantra is stated through the various different the very the different stages of difficulty. You know, as I said before, you set your uh, a goal that is far out uh, to achieve this goal. You use your meditation to reach your sub goal. So, as I said before, you take your long walk, break it down, break it down to the sub parts, the visible things, the visible goals that you can see, and then from the vis visible goals. To reach the visible goals, because it is going to be painful on your back, you are going to have these moments of doubt that you're not going to make it, that you're not, you're not going to succeed. And in these moments, this is where you begin to say your mantras and, 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 and use the mantra uh, to uh, push yourself forward. When you're saying the mantras, most people don't pay attention to what they're saying. They simply state it and use it as a means to get further. So it becomes a mechanism rather than an understanding. This is one of the culprits. This is well, actually, this is the primary culprit that added the. Uh, Level to it. Uh, for five bucks, they have a huge tin of uh, fruit salad. <sighs> now, the problem is uh, with Buddhism and other such Asian. Uh, understandings of the Asian spirituality God is unknown or undefined you don't know God and you can't know God so you just become one you become as they state one with the universe and you do this through various stages of enlightenment and the furthest you can go is a oneness with the universe that's as far as you can go with that However, with Eastern Christianity, you don't say, say empty, en empty mantras because God is known and is knowable. And so, because we understand this, and we understand that uh, God is a quantum God for us, uh, that he's multiple things at the same time, that means Jesus Christ is God. That's the nature of the Holy Trinity. Is that the nature of the Holy Trinity is, is that you have three uh, separate things, or, or Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, that are simultaneously God. Three into one. Uh, or three as one. 
and they're not separable. They can't, you can't separate them. And you can't delineate them. One is not higher than the other. They're all God. And we are invited by God in the uh, opening, uh, opening uh, bits of uh, the Gospel from uh, St. John. We are invited to, to, uh, by God to become sons of God. This, include, this sons is not gender specific. It's uh, simply uh, out to mankind, uh, to the anthropos, the, the, the man. As a species, not as, as not as a, uh, a gender, so it's not gender specific. Uh, this understanding has been lost in time, and so we have we have today, you know, uh, that uh, the view is that the church is misogynistic and uh, doesn't appreciate women, and uh, so on and so forth. However, if you sit down and you study uh, the church you find that this really isn't the case. That, that God hasn't abandoned women. That women has, have not been abandoned. Not been forsaken. And that there is the ability for a full relationship with God. I'm going to figure out how things are going to fit in here. There's an ability to have a full relationship with God even though it's not fundamentally, or in terms of the translation, it's not fundamentally stated. There we go. And this is the goal of meditation. The goal of Christian meditation from the East is the same physical exercise, the same physical push of your boundaries. And as you go through your various different states of exhaustion in trying to reach your goal, the mantra of this, what you say is, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me and a sinner. That's the whole bit. Uh, there's a lot of implications to this uh, beyond simply s stating this. So it's not a simple statement of Forgive me, God, I'm a sinner. And the term sin and sinner have a totally different meaning to Eastern Christians than it does to the West. Uh, sin is unavoidable in the, in the, in the West. Uh, it's done by law. Things are more legalistic. In the East, it's more of... The sin is more of a, 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 of a spiritual condition. So even though you may not overtly be sinning, you know, in, 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 a, in a physical sense. There may be spiritual issues that are sins. And these need to be dealt with as well. And this is the, these issues that prevent us from understanding or developing a closer relationship with God as is intended to, to, to develop our, our, our child relationship with God or become sons of God. Democratic Earth. Earth.